The new camera control button on iPhone 16 is a really interesting way to control different camera settings and really fine tune the images you take with the camera. And whilst it works really well as a shutter button by pressing it firmly, I found that there are times already when I accidentally zoom in or accidentally change style rather than taking the photo. I've also just realised that looking at this, I need a haircut. A lot of this will come down to practice and getting used to the new camera control, but there will undoubtedly be times when you just want a simple basic shutter button and to be able to temporarily disable the more advanced features of camera control. Well, fear not, it's very easy to do just that. I'm going to jump out of the camera app for a moment and instead we'll open settings. From here I'm looking for accessibility and if I scroll down a little bit I'll find a page for camera control. On this screen we have the option to turn off the toggle where it says show adjustments which will disable the menu system built into camera control. Okay, so let's go back into camera by pressing the camera control button here and we'll see if this new feature works. Now, the fun thing about this screen recording is that you can't see that I'm pressing and double tapping that camera control button to test it because nothing's happening on screen. But I can promise you, I am pressing it. And now it does exactly what I wanted to. It just acts like a shutter button and nothing else. If only it was that quick to fix my hair. Whilst I won't use this ability very often because I really like the more advanced menu and controls available here, I can definitely think of plenty of times when having this camera control button act as a regular, simple, sh act as a regular and simple shutter could be very, very useful. And look, little tips like this to customise your phone and make it work for you are exactly why I started my YouTube channel four years ago. If you check it out down below and maybe subscribe while you're there, you're going to find hundreds of quick tip videos just like this one to help you customise and personalise and get the most from the iPhone you own already. There are so many useful features hidden in iOS, and when you learn how to use them, your device will be better than ever before. So please do check those out. And if you want to see what's new in iOS 18 this year, and spoiler alert, there's a lot, please do check out my ebook at the link below. I'll see you all next time.